G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's product review time once again, and today I'm going to be trying this product right here. Woolworths Cook Slow Cooked Pork Ribs in a Smoky Barbecue Sauce. Tender pork ribs slow cooked for 16 hours. Now this costs 14 bucks, 650 grams, but I'm wondering how much of this is actually pork. Well, let's find out. Well, ingredients, Australian pork ribs, 80%. Sauce is 20%, which looks like it's mainly sugar. And that's pretty much it. So it's pretty much two ingredients, sauce and pork. Put some pork on your sauce. Anyway, how about we open it up and see what we get inside the box. Oh. Okay, well, here we have it. It's a plastic bag with, well, a batch number and Well, underneath, you can sort of see the pork there, but I can't identify any ribs from this. Anyway, how about we see how we cook this? All right, so heating instructions. You can either heat it in the oven, cook it in the bag, or in the oven, out of the bag. In the bag takes 30 minutes, and out of the bag takes 50 minutes. I'm not too sure about putting plastic in the oven, but well, I've never done it before, so I'll give it a go and see how it works out. Right, how do we do this? Okay, cook in bag, preheat oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Well, that sounds simple enough for me to do. Remove ovenable bag from box, place in a baking dish or baking tray. Well, I'll have to dig around and find something to use. Place in the center of the oven and heat for 30 minutes. Lucky my oven's a square and it's got a center. Remove from oven and allow to stand for five minutes. Consider it done. Remove ribs from bag, carve and serve. Oh, yum! Do not reheat or refrigerate once heated. Ugh. I was gonna reheat it up for dinner tonight. This tells me I can't. Anyway, let's start preheating the oven. All right, so we preheat the oven to 180 degrees or 170 Celsius grades. That's about 356 Farnborough jingles. Gas mark three, possibly four. Okay, well, I reckon a pizza tray will just do fine for this. So we'll put this on in the bag. And once my oven is heated, I'll stick it in the middle or center for 30 minutes. I'll get Mr. Moo Cow onto that very important job of reminding me. 30 minutes. Oh man, I've just walked downstairs. There's still 10 minutes to go, but the kitchen smells amazing. I just want to have a quick check and make sure the bag's not melting. Oh! Oh wow, it's all puffed up. Oh, cool. Right, yeah, well, it's not melting, so we'll keep it cooking. All right, well, that 30 minutes is up, and here it is in the bag. Looks like the bag has split a little, and some of the juices are running out, but oh, my God. The smell coming off this is incredible. Now, it says to let it cool for five minutes, so I'll do that and we'll come back and we'll suss it out and cut it open and give it the old taste test. All right, well, it's been about five minutes and, well, that bag is still very hot. So I'll grab something to hold it with and I'll replace that. And somehow I'll get this bag off here and onto there. Oh no, it's, it's a boy. It's all right. I can drain out there. And I might just cut this with some scissors. Mm. Oh man, this smells so amazing. Here we go. looking really great. 
Now it has got these juices here, but I suppose you could just baste some of these over as well and make sure all the roots are coated in this delicious looking sauce. Mmm, oh mate. Let's see how thick this is. Well, it's pretty decent girth on that. Oh, whoa. Right, well, I'm going to have to cut some up and see what it tastes like. But first, how about we try some of this sauce? Mmm, it's looking pretty good and it smells incredible. Well, it did. Now, not so much. Mmm. Mmm. Very sweet, very sugary. A little bit of a barbecue sort of taste in there. It says uh, that the ingredients are sugar and tomato, so it should be tomato-y tasting. I'm not really getting that tomato taste, but man, does it taste good. Right, well, let's cut off a piece and try the meat. Oh, gee, the bone just slid out. Well, that's probably a good sign. Just shows how tender this is. Oh, wow, and look at that meat there. It looks like it's marbled. Oh, man, that looks good. Yummy, yum, yum. I hope. Let's go. Mmm. Oh. Oh, my. That is so tender. It doesn't quite melt in your mouth, but it's close to it. That is really tasty, really well cooked. And with that sauce on it, hmm, oh my, that is just delicious. That smoky barbecue sauce is fantastic. It's got a bit of a smoky flavor there, definitely a barbecue flavor. It's mainly made of sugar, but it's not really that sweet. It tastes incredible. I can definitely see myself smashing this whole thing. It would be very easy to do. Mate, this tastes really nice. The sauce is great. The meat is tender. It's just really beautiful and so easy to cook too. And it is getting a big thumbs up from the old Grego's reviews. Well, I hope this review helps you decide what to try and what to avoid. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I cook up some pork ribs in a plastic bag. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where today I tried the Woolly Slow Cooked Pork Ribs. It tastes so good, you'll suck off the bone. It was.